Hi, in this video, I am talking you through static wall splits. Begin in the static wall position. I've got a video on my YouTube channel about this, so feel free to go and have a little look before you do this. The static wall splits is just opening your lips. Go as far as you can go without your pelvis doing anything funky. So that means if it pops up, or pops down so you've got a big arch in your back or if you're really really flat and your coccyx comes off the floor you've gone too far with your legs okay so it's not how how wide apart you can go it's what's happening at your feet and the the legs rather than going as wide as you can okay same as in static back everything nice out static back static wall Everything nice and relaxed in your torso. Pop something behind your head um, to support your neck if you need to, if you've got any tension in your jaw or in your head or feel any strain anywhere in your upper back. Okay, so we are having our legs wide and we are trying to make sure that our coccyx is really nice down on the floor. I'm going to squidge forward a little bit, okay, because you need to have your coccyx on the floor and the whole of the spine is nice and flat, just a little, little arch in your lower back there. Okay, and your bottom's against the wall. If your bottom is against the wall and your coccyx is up or down, squidge away a little bit. Okay, now we're really actively pulling our ankles, so that brings the whole of the foot back towards our shins. So it's not our toes, not just our toes, it's the whole foot moving from the ankle. So your, your, so that's plantar flexion. So pointing like a ballerina, we are doing the opposite. Um, the movement is coming from, the hinge is coming from the ankle joints. That will put us into dorsiflexion. All of the toes follow, not just leading from the big toe or the little toe, so everything all of your toes pulled back by your ankle in dorsiflexion and my shins are now on fire. <laughs> if you're like me and you've got chunky, uh, chunky calves, don't worry, you might find that your feet pop off the floor if you have got chunky, uh, um, chunky calves. So you, the aim of the game is to get your knees as straight as possible. So when I have my feet against a wall like that, my knees are bent. So that is not what we're after. We are after straight knees, ankle dorsiflexion, all the toes pull back in the same amount of, um, well, I don't even really know how to explain it. Just ensure that you're not just leading from the big toe or the little toe. Everything should be burning now after two minutes in this. <laughs> it's a really good one. It's actually really hard. Give it a go. Try and work your way up for five minutes. But as soon as you, as soon as you start burning, you might have to stop and have a little shake off and go back to it. That's fine. Just remembering to breathe deeply, looking up straight ahead at the ceiling or the sky, <laughs> whatever you're, you're looking at in this. And just remembering to keep your feet really active, your ankles in dorsiflexion. Nice and relaxed, breathe nice and deeply. So that is static wall split.